Hey everybody, Fatbird Finds here. This is Laura and it's Thanksgiving time. I'm on my way to visit Megan in Savannah, Georgia. We are gonna take in the sites, do some shopping. So come along with us. So my first night in town, we had a beautiful dinner in a beautiful restaurant in the middle of this beautiful city. I am now on my way to Goodwill. Megan has gone to work at, she works at Anthropology, so she has to work today. It's Black Friday and I'm on my own. So here we go. I just thought you would love to take in the scenery because it is absolutely spectacular everywhere you look down here. So enjoy the ride and we'll see you at the Goodwill. And we have arrived at the Goodwill and I'm pretty, you know, hopeful. It looks like a great one. As we walk in the door here, I've got my cart and look, it's a big, beautiful location. And hopefully we will find something here that will interest us. The first thing we come to is seasonal right here. And this is a really interesting big bag of goodies, but at $20, we're gonna have to leave that one behind, I believe. And still more Christmas. Um, I'm, I'm looking and searching. I'm really not coming up with a whole lot that's interesting in this seasonal section. Pretty little bird and um, candle holder, but you know, it's newer. Let's see if this little guy works. Nope. He doesn't, so he's staying here. A few interesting books, but I'll wait till I get to the book section, I think. I think I'll pass on this one. And here's something good, a little ceramic Christmas tree. It's a hobbyist piece, but we definitely put that one in the cart. A little craft set here, I did pass on that. And then I love these mugs, y'all. I know they're new. They're probably, you know, home goods or something like that. But look how cute. And Megan and I are cooking Thanksgiving dinner tomorrow for ourselves. And I've got spiced apple cider on the menu for us while we watch the parade and eat our sausage balls in the morning. So I'm going to grab these mugs just for us. They are too cute. If I had uh, plenty of space at home in my cabinets, I would just take them all. But I think I'll just take two. So here we go. Oh, look at this. This looks perfect for Megan's apartment. So she's coming home for Christmas, closer to Christmas. So she doesn't need a big tree, but look how groovy this is with the purple sequins and the tinsel tree with a little sprucing up for just four bucks. I think that'll be really cute in her apartment. And then this is more like what I thought I would see in the Savannah area, you know, like the beachy stuff and everything like that. Um, that one, however, wasn't the greatest. So we didn't take that one with us. And I'm um, Getting a little discouraged here, I'm not seeing much vintage at all. But you know, as I always say, these things <laughs> are just hit and miss. You gotta take what comes, right? These are cute little contemporary things, but we don't need those at my house. And so we're just gonna keep looking. These are kind of sweet, but again, not anything that we need for resale. 
Now, I just find these Temptations plates, but look, every single one of them has a chip. I wanted to get those for Katie, that's her pattern, but we had to leave them there and can't take them chipped ones. I'm really crazy about this great big book section. So I always love to go to the book section. I usually don't pass it up, but especially when I've not had luck in the rest of the store, I do like to spend a little time with the books. So we pick up several of these and I'll show you those in the haul. you guys and this is our final section I think these recycled glass glasses are adorable if I could have room for them at home I would take them home to use them but I don't think they hold much resale value and um, of course shipping is difficult on glasses like that so I do usually pass on glasses unless they're extra special but yeah I did like the look of these so that's going to do it here at the Goodwill. We'll show you a haul towards the end of the video. And right now, here is a picture of our breakfast of sausage balls, our apple cider in our mugs, and the parade on in the background. <laughs> okay, hey everybody, good morning. We are set for a full day of Savannah shopping. We've stopped at Megan's favorite neighborhood cafe, the Foxy Loxy. I'll show that to you right here. shopping. Megan, are you ready? Yeah, I'm so excited. Hi. Hi. Look, we made it out here. We brought our breakfast. Look, we're having, I'm having pumpkin bread. What are you having, Megan? Cream cheese Danish. Mm. So good. So good. Look, we've got somebody out here. It's very brisk. And there's someone out there windsurfing. Megan said, surely I could do that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't believe he's out there doing that. It's a good, I don't know, 60 degrees, Megan? But, yeah. it's, but it's beautiful. But yeah, we're packing everything into one day today because this is the day that Megan doesn't have to work. So we did her favorite coffee shop that you just saw, and now we're at the beach, and then we're headed back in for some awesome shopping. Look at that guy go. Fantastic. This is beautiful. Do you come out here and just like do homework and read and stuff? Mm -hmm. oh, that's so awesome. So we're at Forsyth Park now, Megan. And what's going on? Farmer's market, I think. Stop it, get out. <laughs> I can't wait. Look, there's like artists on the sidewalk, maybe? <laughs> Very cool. Oh no, wait, tell me. <gasps> well, not Where? just now, but she's taking a picture of that guy. She's kind of the end of the picture. Oh, like, like for her ring? Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> So there was some music over this way and they're playing chess over here, Megan. Oh, do you hear the trumpet? There it is. Oh, this gentleman's playing right here too. Very touristy spot oh, here to take your picture. Those are gorgeous. 
It would be so cool to get Grammy one of those for Christmas, the one with the fountain in it. Cause you know, she's so crazy about the fountain. I bet so too. These little prints probably aren't as much though as the canvases. Else is how to do it. Okay. I don't know. Oh, look at the big hippo. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's look at these. I know, isn't he beautiful? Mushrooms. Wait, can you see how much the mushroom one is? This one? Yeah. Oh, they're they're probably all kind of. I bet they're all the same. I love that one. I love the blue ones. It's like an old vintage movie reel or something. I like that one of those two kissing on the beach. Yes. Love it. Uh, deep talk and poetry. How cool is that? Did you hear me? Oh, there's lots of puppies everywhere. <laughs> she wants to walk around. No, it's cool. Oh my gosh, she's doing balloons. She's doing permanent jewelry. Permanent jewelry. What is that? You can get permanent bracelets and they will like stay on you for like for a long, long time. Do you guys know about permanent jewelry? <laughs> wow. It's really cheap too. We're at City Market. Taking in all the shops. We just had pizza. At, what's the name of the pizza place, Mike? Vinnie Van Gogo. Okay, Vinnie Van Gogo's was excellent. Highly recommend that. So oh, I think they're behind us. They're taking pictures with in Santa's chair. I don't think Santa's there. Megan's leaving me. But yeah, it's all decorated and festive. And uh, we're going to shop a little bit more and then be back for the parade. You certainly can't leave town without um, some candy and some pralines. Delicious. Mom, I wish you were here to enjoy those. That's her favorite. And then Megan wanted to look in this vintage clothing store. It was high end, but tons of fun to go in and browse. And then if you'll stay tuned after the haul, you're gonna see where Megan works at Anthropology and what they have for Christmas. And we're gonna end with the Christmas parade. All right, we are back at home. The trip was wonderful. And here is the haul from the Goodwill in Savannah, Georgia. Now for sure, we didn't get a whole lot there. Um, but what we got is very cute and I was just excited to be there and to be with Megan and just to combine a little bit of business anyway um, with a lot of fun on this trip. 
One of the first things I picked up, I did have Christmas on my mind, or well, I had holidays on my mind. I wanted to try to pick up a few things to make it special uh, for Megan and I as we were celebrating Thanksgiving together. And I had just found a spiced cider recipe and I thought, oh, I'm gonna get some big cute mugs and look what I found. So they are not vintage, but look, aren't they cute? They are marked um, the Sheffield home on the bottom. And I found one that said, ho, ho, ho. And then also one that says naughty. <laughs> so anyway, I just thought these were cute and fun and just very festive. On a snowy day, these are spectacular. So I had to go ahead and pick those up. Then of course, um, I'll get to the tree here in just a second. You saw some footage where I picked up a little um, purpley sequined or well tinsel tree with a sequined skirt and Megan has that in her apartment. It's very cute. Just the right size for her uh, bar area. And then my other find, um, also not so vintage, but in these boxes here, I opened one for you, but all three of these have Temptations cookware in there and my oldest daughter collects this cute little brand new temptations cookware you can bake the bread right in there and then they have this little decorative container um, with the lid afterwards as part of the gift so I was excited to get those they were I think two two ninety nine each and then I thought that I was being really, really smart <laughs> to get this cute little ceramic tree. It has all the holes. It might just need a little touch up of paint here and there, um, but it was only $2.99, so I went ahead and got it. And if you guys remember a while back um, at an estate sale, I got a whole bag of the little birds that go in here, and I wanted to try to do an orange and blue fat bird Christmas tree. I thought, oh my gosh, we're all set. But alas, here they are. But of course, my eye was a little off because they're way too big. Way too big to fit in the holes. If you can see that here, let me, let me show that to you up close. Yep, so those are not gonna work, but one of these days we're going to find the perfect tree for that. So yeah, I think that was a cute find. And lastly, I don't ever leave Goodwill without at least walking through the book section. And uh, this particular Goodwill had a really great book section. It just drew me right in. I think because it was not categorized in any way. So it was more like a big yard sale type of situation that always makes you kind of linger to hunt longer and you usually end up finding more things. So I got this whole stack of books. And I know I've mentioned this before, but we do have an exciting new project coming up. There's gonna be a Fat Bird Finds crafting channel. And mostly for glue booking, that's what I have on my agenda right now. Uh, this is more of a Laura thing than a Mary Beth thing, but of course uh, she's invited anytime to craft. <laughs> so you'll never know when to expect her but you would be seeing me a lot on that channel. I hope to get it started really good and strong January 1st as just a treat because we've been off for the month of December and I'm just excited to do something new and that now you guys will have extra content to kind of make up for us being gone uh, most of December. It's so fun because, you know, in the whole thrifting process when we're looking for home decor, you know, kind of vintage, all the stuff that we like to show you guys on our channel, the vintage Christmas, all that kind of stuff. All these same places, estate sales, yard sales, thrift stores, have wonderful ephemera and um, wonderful, you know, books and things that can be upcycled and recycled and reused again in a crafting kind of sense because, you know, they, you know, are not brand new anymore and they do probably have damage here and there. And what fun it is to like, you know, take things and just recycle them and get good use out of them. 
So yes, I'm going to do uh, hauls on that channel just like we do hauls on our regular channel. And so this whole stack will be covered there. So if you're interested or I have piqued your curiosity, just go on over. It's free to subscribe. You can subscribe to that channel, Fat Bird Finds Crafting, and it's going to be up and going the first of next year. Thank you all so much for watching. I'd love for you to sit back now and enjoy this look at anthropology where Megan works and um, what they have for Christmas. Some beautiful, beautiful um, shopping here. And then we're gonna end with the footage from the boat parade in Savannah for their Christmas parade. They do it on the river and they light up the boats. So please enjoy. Hit the like button if you uh, want to support our channel. We appreciate it so much. And we hope you stay tuned. Have a happy holidays. And stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. Bye, everybody.